You're looking. Look at these motherfuckers. Some sliders. No, yeah, some zinger crunch sliders. So it's some like, zinger crunch they look amazing. Sliders. Two for eight bucks. Ain't fucking bad. Excellent. Bruh, you ready for another week's podcast? Podcast? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Padushi Padushi? But, but, what the. The, what, what, whatever you call Padushi, it. <laughs> Padushi Padushi Podcast. Excellent. Padushi Padushi? Pad All right. Pad Badushi, badushi. We'll get on into it before I start talking about some shenanigans. What's up, beardies and beardettes? Come on down for your chance to listen to another wild episode of the Beardy Bros Podcast. I don't know why I did game show intro, but I did. <laughs> it's like it's like who, who was it? Was it um? Was it who? What was that game again? God damn it! I forgot the the, the show. What okay. game? The, the the game show is like come on down it's like it gets the prices the uh, price is right you literally you literally just said that <laughs> price is right the price is right yeah guess the price with um well we we had freaking Larry do ours here mm. I always Larry love that. I always love that they like call out that someone in the in the name in the audience yeah, awkward to do that <laughs> they're like I'm just gonna because wasn't there was always like if you're sitting in row seven seat five at the name right. of Larry, come on down. <laughs> and they're like with the three guests. It was always funny. I don't know why my brain was thinking of that. <laughs> That's why when I, when I thought I was gonna go um, do the stuff like make the tea and that, I I just got out there and I was like. Um, you you've got a lot of guts. Show me what they look like. <laughs> and like they're wires and metal, the same as yours. <laughs> like just just quite some small soldiers for some reason. <laughs> like this is crazy. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, which which will really just happen to that different anniversaries that are happening. But coming back to that in a sec. Um, I it was looking, so small in this shirt now. What the tiny. Fuck? Um, <laughs> it's weird. I was also. Uh, what? You you're in a different outfit too, aren't you? We're, we're actually in different things. We're wearing different clothes. I'm wearing the uh, anniversary shirt. I actually wore it today. I went out to the Ecca, the Brisbane Ecca, and I wore it all day at the Ecca. And I think people were confused because I had myself on my shirt. I think people had a double take because <laughs> <'Cause, laughs> I had people looking with confusion. It's like, yeah, that's right. It's me on my shirt. Deal with it. So hopefully, right. uh, I advertised <laughs> and plugged it a little bit. I um I filmed while I was out there doing my uh, my vlogs. So hopefully, uh, I got some good right. footage. I just record a bunch of stuff, but at half the time I don't really remember what I did when I was recording. It's just, and I don't know if it's audible as well because I did take my headphones, but I didn't use my headphones. That's so also like, like the podcast. Like, mm. The next day we're like, what the fuck did we talk about? Yeah, and actually it was kind of funny because when I was going around doing stuff, I looked over and there's another actually a dude who I, who I guess was like a vlogger because he had something like his shirt, his, his actual shirt had his like YouTube on the back of his shirt and had like his YouTube channel link, like the, what his YouTube URL was and his Instagram. Yeah. Now that's and fucking. It, no, and that's he was he was clearly on. like an adventure vlogger as well because he was but he was like. I guess he was getting a toasted cheese sandwich and he was filming them make the t cheese sandwich. And I'm just like, bro, that's a little bit too in depth with your vlogging there, bro. Like, if you're going to be like, <laughs> filming, awkwardly filming them, he had the stick and he was like filming them make the clean the grilled no, cheese up. And I'm like, honestly. come on, bro. Like, that's a bit, that's a bit too much. Like, that feels a bit too, like, in depth with your content. Like, hey, each to I mean, their own do your content, but. Unless he asked them and they said yes. Then it looked very because... awkward. I don't know. The, the grill, the grill master, I'll call them, was, uh, Looked very awkward with while he was standing there filming him because he didn't seem as confident while he was filming everything either. So, would 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 you though if you were being filmed making a fucking I know, but like the guy he... I'm saying, like, but the guy himself filming it, like with his stick, he felt very awkward, like he was trying to sneak record. Like <laughs> it looks because he was like quickly like oh yep yeah, uh, uh, and pretending he was I'm like dude like you be if you're if you're vlogging commit to your yeah. vlogging. Well, you ask, but like you commit. You don't even if yeah, you're but asking. But if I said yes, was well, it so awkward? If you said no, but no, that's then what I'm saying. You don't be don't like, do it. like say yeah, you get permission, then you're like, oh, hey guys, look at the grilled cheese, <sighs> grilled cheese, and he's like, he's just just adjusting, and it's very awkward. Like he didn't, he didn't feel confident. He'd be like, what's up, guys? Yes, we're recording. We're doing, the, you know, you get into it, you get confident, you give the energy to it. Like he just felt very, I'm gonna record it okay. and try and like, oh, oh. Oh, 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 a bit. He's like a bit did, shy. Did, did you go like, check his channel out? No, I, did, I can't remember no. the name of it. Some, something. Because that, that, that could just be him. Like, <laughs> imagine. I would just imagine if it was old mate. Fucking, what's his name? Um, doing his food Grego. reviews. Gregor. That I'd love if I saw Gregor doing food reviews at the Echo. That would have been hilarious. 
I feel like he would be that kind of thing to do. Like, he'd do food reviews. Like... Right? Well, he oh, does. I don't think what I do you that. mean? <laughs> no, but, like, <laughs> at, at the Eka, though. Not, like, at, like... At the... Re- like, he goes to restaurants and shit. Like, food Oh, yeah, there. true. Like, if he went no, to the no, Eka... He, he goes to actual, um... Like... Yeah, because whoever's he, got the best stuff, like... Yeah. Not, not the best, but, like, whoever's got new, unique things, I don't things, think I sent like... you that... No, I didn't send you that photo. I'll send it to you now. Um, which I'll post up on the Instagram... I had a... If you, if, you, if you just want to catch Gregor, you just fucking go to a KFC or something. I, um... I'll send you the photo. I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't send you, but I had a foot-long, uh... Dagwood dog. A corn dog. Pluto pup. A fucking foot-long Dagwood? Yeah, I sent you, I sent you the photo now, Messenger. What? And then there's, there's me holding it, and then there's the stick. It's fucking huge. I'll post them up onto the Instagram. Jesus. Hmm. That is a massive fucking Dagwood. Yeah. You can see actually where the bottom of the nib was at the... I wonder if I was so confused when I said Dagwood Dog. Like, what the fuck? I was like... What, Downward Dog? dog. What? <laughs> yeah. A Dagwood Dog is like, it's a fucking corn dog. Actually, like, sp- speaking dog. of the Downward Dog, I, I made a joke. Um, we'll, we'll clean... Uh, cleaning up the other day and um, this week and um, Al dropped something and it went under the couch and she went down to yeah. bend down and grabbed something and, she, and her back locked up and she was in the... I was like, oh, help me, step bro. And I laughed and I just laughed. I just stood there laughing. She's like, can you help me? I'm like, this is too funny. I just cracked up laughing at her. And she's like, I need help. I'm stuck. I'm like, well. And then I, then I like, after I finished laughing at her for a bit, I just like, okay, I'll get you out of there. Uh, oh, I thought I, crack, I cracked up. I wanted to take a photo of her and just be like, oh, look at you. Look, you look like a stupid idiot. I was the camera Step bro, I'm stuck. <laughs> Because I was laughing at it, I almost walked off and just left it there as well. So I was like, oh, wait, I meant to help you out. <laughs> Sweet ass. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, that's right. Because I was just dude, I was just cracking up. I was like, oh, then the kids were doing shit. And I was running around. I was like, oh. Because uh, Jack, Jack came into my room. I was sitting here and Jack came in going, mum's stuck and she needs your help. <laughs> And I'm like, what do you mean? And that's why I walk in and she's just the like, arm under the couch and she's like, the killer. <laughs> it just cracked me up. I was like, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, because Jack saying that could have been any fucking thing. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? What has she done? Has, Jack, has Max done something? like? Because she... A, it could have been serious. That. Or it could have been a fucking trick. Like, yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, I guess it was going on. Anything. And yeah, I just, I just cracked up laughing. I thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, but um, but yeah, come back to the echo. Um, but yes, yeah, so I did that. Still a couch, like no, 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 especially stuck under a couch. No, because she was like it dropped something and it went under, so she's trying to reach and she like yeah, arm locked up and then which then locked up the shoulder, which then went through oh, her no. spine. So like it, it all reacted to everything and seized up. Everything's connected, like yeah, it just takes one little thing, pinch a nerve, and just like. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. you ever lifted something where you're going oh I'll lift that and you twist it away and you're like oh! <laughs> and you're your ball body just goes fuck this shit and just gives out and you're just like oh shit there it goes and you just drop right? whatever you're holding because it just fucking pinches oh, or I've, I've had turning your head too for like turning your head and your whole fucking neck just zaps like uh, oh. the nerve yeah it tingles you <laughs> fucking it's like uh, how the fuck does that happen it happens like every fuck it's a once, once in a freaking blue moon, but it's like oh. if you turn weird, it's like a whole electric shock. Yeah. Like, but um, am, am am I am I am I dead now? Like, <laughs> before I come back to the echo, I do want to say, those that are listening, I do apologize once again. I actually thought I uploaded the episode, but it went it went to drafts. So the last week, like the whip episode oh. we'd been was fine. It was the week before, it went to drafts when I went to upload it. It just went straight to drafts. I did. That's I did weird. everything. Add the, the like. Added the title to it. I added the description. Clicked upload, and somehow it drafted the episode. And it'd been sitting there for like the whole week in draft mode. And I thought it went up. And I was like, oh. So it's, it's been like the last two. Like like it's been like two episodes one week, and then it was normal upload. And then another two episodes one week. It's like, <laughs> fuck sake. Um, I so I do apologize to those that are listening. I will try and get them back into order now. Um, <laughs> get them all organized properly and have make sure they're not in draft. So you guys can be listening to us at a reasonable time and not getting double episodes. And wondering where the episode is. All oh, make show bags. Also, I'm getting <laughs> Harry Potter vibes from you right now. Right? What's that? Ah, Harry, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I come to die. <laughs> I think uh, so they're more around. Yeah, they are. But actually, they're only my uh, com- computer glasses, which 
now I'm not going to be needing them so often. Like I got my computer glasses now because I'll be working soon. I won't need them as often because I won't be at the screen as often working and doing stuff. And now it's just like, did I even need? To, <laughs> did I even need to get I them? Mean, yeah, because. You've got, you got the podcast every weekend. Yeah. Time, so. so I'm actually trying to wear them. Minim- the minimum. Like. <laughs> so yeah, so it'd be interesting to see because I've been, I'm just behind on a lot of content. I had to, um, my last vlog for my vlog channel as well. And I'm just doing like a uh, day by day in a week format. So it's like two weeks basically combined together in like a 20 minute video. I was like, fuck it. Let's just yeah. make it hot. And I dated and just mashed it together. So I was like, fuck it. Let's just mash it together. And I'll just upload that as one big episode. Why not? Because sometimes, some of the episodes, if I did break them down, it'd be like a two-minute episode or a one-minute episode. It's like, eh. It all just adds up in the end. Some ones, One is like right. seven minutes, eight minutes long, and then another one's like two minutes. I was like, what's the point of uploading a two-minute <laughs> video? eight minutes then, to two minutes. Yeah, they're all over. Like, oh, let's just make one big video. I took a lot of the crap out, and yeah. Because I let them sit too. Sometimes that's a good thing too, is like I film it, I am behind, but then you let it sit, and you're like, eh, this doesn't work. I don't like this part. Let's just leave it. So, mm. Right? Well, that's the same. I've got to go through the echo footage and go through that and edit that. And I made a bunch of TikToks as well. But yeah, it wasn't too bad today. I hadn't been to the echo in like maybe 20 years. Um, and I finally gone back. So I'm 33. So, you know, I might have been around 13 when I last went. That's all I can vaguely remember. Otherwise, my other earliest memory was me being kind of younger and somewhat being in a pram and being sick. So that even then, that, that would have been me at like, Seven, maybe six or seven. That's like someone who remembers their birth. It's like oh, I remember. Yeah, that's only, I think the only reason I remember is because I was crook, and I remember mum pushing me in the pram because I was crook. <laughs> that's the only reason why. That's weird. Like I think because it's like a bad, like not a good memory. Like some good memories I don't really remember, but like it was a bad, like like bad, like that's a traumatic one. Like, I'm fucking, I can remember every time as a kid as I went, I was always crook. And guess what? Echo time again. I wanted to go this year, and I'm crook. Last year I didn't go. I was fine. I'm sure of it. I was fine around this time when Echo was on. But you but, just didn't do it. Yeah, I didn't go. But now I went to the Echo this year and I, and I was crook for the day. But I, I pushed through it and it felt good. I actually felt okay. I took some Panadol and just walked around all day. And surprisingly, it wasn't too bad with how I'm feeling. Yeah. I mean, the thing, like, but, you take some Panadol, Panamax, the fuck they call it now. Like That's it. Different brands. But yeah, we spent a bit of money. Some Paris. Some Paris. A, them off. I think a, it really is. Got a Rick and Morty bag. Different. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's got Rick and Morty Rick's bag. Up. Rick and Pickle Rick's uh, came with a lunchbox as well, like a cooler bag lunchbox. I thought, that was, I thought it was a gift wrap for a minute. So yeah, it's a little Rick and Morty. From that angle, look like a gift wrap with just the face. Um, <laughs> it came with a came with a hat. Is that, a, is that a new addition back behind you? What's that? The big purple cat. Hey, he's always been there. Oh. They've always been there. He wasn't there last time. Yeah, oh, he was somewhere there. I don't know. Skeletal's up there, too. <laughs> He's like, ha, ha, help me! <laughs> the end of the other. Ha! Decals. Stubby cooler. Put him on your freaking car, does. <laughs> Stubby cooler. Fucking. Or a, what is it, a freaking koozie. <laughs> bottle opener. That's a big ass bottle opener. Metal. Fucking. Yeah, but why is it so big? Is, is it Pickle Rick? Uh, no, it's just green. <laughs> why is it so long? I don't know, it's just... it's just One end's got that. It's just a, literally a metal fucking... With Rick and Morty on it. Uh, it needs to be a fucking like eighth of that size. Yeah, I was going to... I was thinking of getting the Call of Duty bag. Uh, but I ended up getting the Rick and Morty Ooh. bag instead. It, um, the only thing that kind of intrigued me the most for it was it had a, um, a desk mat. Like a full-on, like... The wide computer mouse mats, and it had like a bottle opener, oh, had a stubby holder. Yeah, it was just it was like a big black one. It had Call of Duty on it, and that was like what intrigued me the most about wanting to get it. But I didn't end up grabbing it in the end. I went the Rick- desk mat be amazing though, because yeah. you can't just buy that. You, we well, kind of can, not that one specifically, but you can hmm. find like no, but that one. Like, technically, is, was on it a Wish, Warzone one? Like it, it was just black with Call of Duty. Like, you, you can't get some of these ones there. on Wish, so. Um, I'll never do that though. Yeah, so it had like some candies and stuff. It's like, eh. it's like it was it was a very mix. Like the Call of Duty bag was very mixed between being an adults bag and then also a kids bag, because like here's some stuff that kids would like, but then here's stuff that adults would like. It's like, what are you trying to be? Like, it's very confusing. Trying to be an adult kid. Yeah, so I was like, eh, I'll just go Rick and Morty. I, I, got, I got the other one a couple of years ago. I got a different Rick and Morty bag, and I got this one. There was another one again that they had, but I like this one more because it had more. Um, okay. More stuff. 
Adobe Hi-Fi has got the cod and mouse pad. All right, which one does what does it look like? Is it like black with just Call of Duty on it? Black with a dude of a gun and MW behind it. Oh no, that one actually sounds cooler. This is uh, just... it's an RG. It's a wireless charging RGB gaming mouse pad. Because this one was just literally black, and it just had the words in white Call of Duty with a line through it, like a bullet maybe. That's this is weird... way cooler. Yeah, as I said. Um, I just had to look for it. Like literally, it's a giant mouse pad. Like yeah. It's yeah, because it came with this is what it came with. It came with charging a charging one, like it charges shit. So um, why not have it? <laughs> it came with a notebook, which is just your basic notebook, um, like your just basic A4 book notepad, like with lines and shit. A4. Uh, the non-woven bag, which is basically your shopping bag kind of thing. Some laptop sticker. Oh yeah, right. Uh, a drinking cooler, which is the stubby holder. Uh, a desk mat. Uh, deck of cards. A bottle opener. Some badges, wristband, pen set, and then the backpack. And I was like, eh. kind of like, like, eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. is that it? Just, eh. That was it. So that's why I went with my one. Oh no, this is the other one I took a photo of. But it's a different one again that I actually took a screenshot of that I was thinking of getting. That's funny. <laughs> I went with this one. People need to realize that you you do not get a mouse pad. You get a desk mat. Yeah. That is that is what you call a mouse pad. Like if I do look at getting a different, yeah, I might look at getting another Rick and Morty bag at another point in time if they have it on the show bags website. But you do just get a big one because these you can't really. You can't do move much, much and, on. and you really need your keyboard to stay still. So it's good to have it so then your keyboard can sit on it. And also, if, like my other side, I do need wait, to get one for here. My keyboard does stay still. No, sometimes people's don't though. Because desk, mine's literally because the desk surface. Mine's literally like. But yeah, so it wasn't. It wasn't a bad day. It was a big day. Uh, I filmed yeah, a bunch of different stuff, looking around places. Um, yeah, cakes and stuff. They had different giant tractors, free free mandarins. Yeah, there was all kinds of <laughs> shit there. Um, I wasn't looking at, but yeah, it wasn't a bad day. It was. It was pretty good. It was a big day. We got there about nine o'clock after we got like we left. We got there at nine. Like all that friggin' rubber there. On the feet and that. Yeah. Oh, and the and the thing and bottom. I've only got one foot. This thing does not move. Do I have, yeah, I only got one one foot. I got down there and up there. Or if you put it down. The other one's gone. Still rubber. Oh, yeah, that's, that's all rubber there. Oh, it's gone. Did you break it off? It just never had it. What? It lost it, so. Or it didn't come with it. It was missing it when I got it. Oh, so I, I just like I just I accepted my fate. I just accepted my fate and just had it. Um, but yeah, was it there's um, uh, but yeah, so it wasn't, wasn't too bad. Uh, what was I gonna say? What's happened this week? Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on. We got oh, we got the uh, announcement coming for Modern Warfare Three stuff, like the teaser, more teaser stuff coming. For Modern Warfare Three this week. Uh, was that August seventeenth? Yeah, August seventeenth. And um, when? Thursday. Whatever it is for us, yeah. I should say. Thursday. Um, so that's pretty cool. It just seems a bit weird that it's supposed to be coming out in November, but it's only like, what, August now? We haven't had anything yet? Like, it's a bit... Oh, it's always got a... Oh, it's usually revealed in July, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Um, There's a weird thing going I think on with... I'm pretty sure it's just the campaign. I mean, there might be mild play, but... Because I, I heard that it's not even a campaign. I'm like, what? <laughs> What's that? The um... Bullshit. Modern Warfare Three, but it is though. Like that's the thing. Like that, they, they, yeah, that's the whole point thing. of it. It's so weird. People are just fucking it's, Twitter, it's man. More or less, what's happening is I think we're basically having similar multiplayer, but it's the campaign that's new. Like we're getting a Warzone yeah. Three, I guess. Um, mm -mm. Or it's still Warzone, nope. just Warzone Two, as what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just carries over because it's just like mm -hmm. mumbo jumbo, whatever. I think that's why it's been done differently. Is because Warzone it's Two be good for another few years, easy. Yeah. It just updates it or whatever they do. Maybe change Except it. you keep all your skins and whatnot yeah. for the next game. Everything yeah. flows over because it's all built in the same engine, not like where yep. one was like that weird collab. Unlike when Treyarch did the Cold War on that where... Crossed over. It wasn't the same engine, but they crossed over to Warzone and, and then... fuck Warzone. Yep. Um... Guns were so unbalanced. Yeah, oh yeah. Abilities were so unbalanced. <laughs> it's so broken. Like... Well, That's why Warzone died. Because even like you're playing like the old timey shit, and it was like, oh, this is dated this time. But then they had like the modern guns, and then oh, it was all over. 
They had no logic. It was just like confusing nonsense characters, just. I don't know what they were trying to do. It's, it's fucked up. I don't know why they did it. Like, they should have just um, kept Warzone as um, Infinity Ward and just yeah. let them have it. Like, um, there's also a makes so much more sense. Something weird happening with Maccas as well on the 14th. Uh, there's some as the as featured in me. Something like, weird happening. Yeah, there's, there's a there's a as featured in uh, as featured in Mill coming, which is because it's like um, it's like this. It's the it's the boys, isn't it? Uh, no, because had the McDonald's bag as featured in Space Jam, <laughs> uh, the McDonald's cup as oh, featured in God. Space Jam. Oh, was it? It was Space Jam. Uh, Space Jam. The the B, B U B Illen by Run D M C. The Office coming to America. B. Seinfeld. The boyfriend. Uh, ready for these close ups. The McDonald's fries as featured in Space Jam. Fallen Angels. Like there's some weird movie collab thing. It's like the sweet and uh, sweet and sour yeah, sauce as featured in Marvel Studios Loki. Like, over one zillion variants served. Like, there's some weird, col- like, film collab, TV show film collab meal coming. So I don't know what, what the go is. That's ridiculous. But yeah, there's this whole bunch of advertisements they put up on... Oh, I can't see it. I'll send it to you. Um, I'll send it to you now. It was on, up, on yeah, their, but... um, up on their Twitter. Oh, they fuck. post about it. And their Facebook and stuff. Uh, send to you now. But yeah, some weird thing that they're doing. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, makes no McDonald's, sense, uh, McDonald's, but... McDonald's presents the As Featured in Meal guest starring Palace Skateboards featuring Coming to America, <laughs> Richie Rich, oh, Black Man, The Fifth Element, Reality Bites, Friends, The One with the Bullies, uh, I'm Not Rapper... What? I'm Not Rapper Fort, Clueless, The Devil is a Part-Timer, Seinfeld, The Boyfriend, Fallen Angels, UB Illin, Run DMC, The Office, US, you The Longest Yard, 30 Rock, Episode, St. Valentine's Day, like, I don't know, The Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. Why is there like, so many? It's so weird. I don't I don't know what's going on, so that's coming out in a I guess couple we'll of days. I guess we'll find out soon. Yeah. So I was like, something, I guess, to keep an eyes on this week, which will, yeah. I'm going to post those up on the Discord as well. Oh, not Discord. Why well, am I post those to the Discord? <laughs> post to the Instagram. Instagram. Um, I, mean, the, the... I mean, the the Discord works as well, right? Like, <laughs> you um, could be instead. <laughs> I, sent you, I sent you the thing that was the other day, uh, was that uh, the, the rumor or possible outreach of like Apple buying Walt Disney Company is apparently a real possibility, according to analytics. Oh, yeah, but it will have to... It's such a weird thing probably... to be like talked about, like randomly coming up as a subject. Like, what the fuck? What would Apple need? Like, where'd it come Disney, from? Like Walt Disney, like... But that's ballsy if, if, if Apple... Is that like that high up that they can literally just buy Walt Disney? Because we know Walt Disney. I think it's because of what, because Disney's losing a lot of revenue right now because of everything. Like they're losing on all sales. And if they sell the Walt Disney Company off, someone else can deal with it and they can make the movies and. Like that's like coming back to it with like that new Snow White movie. But why Apple? But like that's like the Snow White movie that Apple, they're doing. Apple it's are so a retarded. tech company, not a fucking like. Oh, no, they are. A... Yeah, they are. They are an entertainment company. They have their own service and they release Apple movies. Yeah, that. Yeah, but they made a lot of big budget Apple, Apple TV shows and stuff like that, like Netflix and what. Yeah, but. But the fact that if they're like they're, they're, that's how much money they have, if they can buy Walt Disney, like that's crazy. If they could actually buy that. Yeah, well, they're not. They're not worth a lot. I don't think. So with how much Walt Disney? Look, as of right now, Disney's worth fucking pennies. Like, it's just crazy, yeah, because the, like, literally, I enjoyed, like, a lot of the stuff that Disney were doing with the TV shows for Marvel, but that Secret Invasion was just garbage. Like, that was literally hot garbage. Disney is worth $162 billion, so. Mm. Not, yeah, it's actually not that much, really, is it? Uh-huh. It's just to catch like, changes. A lot of people. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, they went, they keep going down like everything's in the red to keep going new. But that was like because like everything being cast oh, the way they, they're doing with Disney. There's a joke going around at the moment where the meme is uh, Jada Pinker Smith being cast as Rapunzel. <laughs> That's the meme at the moment because of how they've been so like diversifying everything unnecessarily and like ironically the joke being is because the way she is being another. Uh, female of, of colour but then having no hair <laughs> that's the big joke going at the moment like it's not real but it's like the, it's it's not actually happening it's just the meme it's guess how much making... Amazon's worth oh they're worth a bit aren't they 
Around the same yeah, price? The, 1.43 trillion. Oh, yeah, well, that's because of um, old mate. That's because of fucking... A G- Bezos. G- Bezos. Pesos. Jeff Bezos. Jose Bezos. <laughs> oh! oh! I just stopped it. I nearly overfilled my cup. I couldn't Crazy, see it. Though. I literally just filled it to the rim. Careful. Spill it to the rim. Careful. <laughs> Look at it. Um, I don't want to see, like, because I've heard no one talk about this Disney fucking physical bullshit. Like, they, they have to bring them back. Cause... Oh, they have been. What do you mean they haven't? It was the end of July it was talked about. You literally type in. I've, yeah. I heard nothing. I sent you all those links. It, like... It's like everyone's been talking about it. Disney cancelling fucking physical. Um, the last physical copy that we've ever gotten in Australia from Disney is literally Guardians of the Galaxy. It's the last steelbook. Physical. Everything. It's all going to streaming services. That's what they're depending on now. Like, they literally, like, fuck you guys. Yeah, and, they, and they're doing the password share thing that Netflix did. So yeah. you can't password share. Yeah. But you know what's going to happen? They're going to lose a lot more people. You know what's going to happen? Disney's going to be start being number one, uh, being pirated in Australia again. They're going to be the next fucking Netflix. Like, it's literally stuff, literally Disney stuff is literally going to be going back to being pirated because... Oh, yeah. People well, won't... It already is. People want it. Like, yeah, it's kind of is now. Like, it's there, but, like, it's going to go more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are already doing stuff, like, you know what I mean? But, like... Well, like half of that collect... Well, not half, but a lot of that is fucking Disney, like... Mm. People love the physical. Like, I was saying... We were chatting the other day, like, the only way we're going to look at them getting it is, like, maybe through Zavi, because they import everything. And hopefully it's re- our region. Yeah, from, like, the, more region from, free. from the UK, yeah. Yeah, like, it's going to go that way. Like, we're going to have to outsource collecting stuff, if that's going to get to that point. And it's a lot more fucking expensive. Well, not yes. a lot more, like, 10, 20 bucks, but still. No, it's just crazy. And, and then now the other rumor is they're going, first off, it's like, oh, we're going to pull out physical media in Australia. We don't want to have and, that there. And New Zealand. And New Zealand. And you know what the next turnaround was? The rumour is now even boosted up again going, oh, we might put a Disneyland in Australia. Make up yeah. your fucking mind. Oh, fuck yeah. You like, make up your fucking mind though. It's like, you want to pull out media from Australia, but then you want to put a Disneyland in Australia? It's like, do you love us or do you hate us? Like, which one is it? Like, make I mean, up your mind. The cool part is it'll, it'll be in Victoria because that's got nothing like that there. Mm. Originally, so you put a Disneyland there. Well, originally it was going to be Melbourne, uh, not Melbourne, Victoria, fucking Adelaide. Um, it was going to be Adelaide. Someone had the shittest um, place, like because they wanted to boost. Yeah, they, they had like a location, and everything. They were talking about it a couple of years ago, like five, six, seven years ago. They were talking about it and they had plopped up land. And they were trying to get the all all sort of done for it and everything. And now this person in Melbourne's like, wait, hey, they the called it a self inflicted ban. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if. Have they been counting, like... Because, as you know, their Disney stuff sell out quick here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. As, as you know. Cause... Yep. So, if they think that's low, then, like, damn. The whole, that's be doing every fucking way. Yeah. It's crazy. But, on a uh, plus note... Uh, Hang on, they... No, no, they said DVDs. No, it's specifically all, DVDs. It's all media. All, yeah, they said DVDs, but it was all media. Any, all physical media, they were saying. Yeah, this thing says all DVDs after Guardians 3. Yeah. Actually, people should stop doing DVDs in general, but... Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of people that still have DVD players. They don't know how to transfer over to Blu-ray. It makes no sense. Don't even ask Because Blu-ray, Blu-ray, Blu-ray is totally cheaper. Yeah. Don't even ask like me. Like a though. Blu-ray player is like fucking fifty bucks now, like yeah. 10, 20 bucks. Don't even ask me. People just want to stay with DVD still. What what is the DVD resolution? Like four eighty P or seven twenty? Uh five seventy six. Five seventy ah. Yeah. In between. There are some DVD players that are R seven twenty. I mean, some do look good. Like and some because uh, I've I've been buying like Small Soldiers, Holy Man, and I and I do watch them still, but like a lot of for Blu-ray newer players, movies, uh, anything with a decent range of price up a hundred are usually four K now. A lot of my default four K. Yeah, like yeah, because four K is a lot more accessible now. I guess some people just. Um, but I yeah. mean, I'm a freaking audio file. I'm a freaking video file. I like the best, highest quality. But like, that's it. Um, but something cool also I saw that this week as well was uh. Mattel, I guess, because Mattel must be on a rolling binge at the moment of doing different things. 
Um, Mattel. They're teasing the bringing back of some Street Sharks toys and possibly oh, show. Good old Street, street Sharks. Shark. I, don't even, I don't even remember that. Street Sharks were my favourite, man. I still got toys. I still got them. Fucking loved the Street Sharks. Because we've already got uh, Biker Mice from Mars coming back. Um, thanks to Ryan oh, Reynolds helping sharks. with that. I think I had Street Shark figures. Like, they were like this big. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. And there was the dinosaur ones as well. They were cool. And they had like the sharks in like denim and shit. Like... Yeah. I'm literally, when they drop those toys, I'm buying yeah, them all up. Yeah, those things. Yeah, yeah. They drop those toys again, I'm buying them all up. Whatever they release, I'm buying them. I'm getting my fucking hands on the whole lot. Bobby Bolton, Streaks, Big, Slamu, and Ripster. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm buying them. I don't remember any of, their, any of their names, but... They're, they're no, just I, don't, their... I don't remember their names, but fucking, I love them. Bobby Bolton? Bobby Bolton. I mean, Bolton. It's, it's, it's Bolton. Bolton. But Bolton, yeah. Is he the one with the, the, the... He had the mechanical attachment, didn't he? No, none of them have that. One of them had, like, a mechanical that was, um, enhancement jaw. That was a later thing, I think. Yeah. I only, only had 40 episodes, so it's not even that big. I know one of them had, like, metal teeth. Like, because one had normal teeth, one had implanted teeth. It was fucking cool. Yeah, it had, like, some silver teeth, didn't yeah, it? Like, yeah, like, actual metal teeth implanted. And he had, like, chains and th- shit, like... Yeah. And there was another one that had, like, an actual metal face over his... Yeah. I think that's cool. not... Um, That was later, I think, though, in the Possibly, yeah. thing. Fucking love Street Sharks. Racing around their bikes and shit, and just... Four brothers who are turned into half human, half shark creatures. Like, it's like Ninja Turtles. One, there was a hammerhead one. Yeah. It's fucking cool. Oh, I loved them. Fucking had most of those toys. Like, yeah, I remember, I remember having those as a kid. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yep. We had, I, had like I, all I, four, I, four of them. Like, I do love that Mattel's trying to come back and bring some of the classic shit back. Like, they're doing stuff. I'm like, good. Damn but also, good. it's got to be good. It's got to be yeah. worth it. No, Don't half ass the damn show or anything <clears> if there no. is a show. Well, so it's, it's the, uh, fucking, was it, 30, 30th anniversary? Like, fuck me, 30. Yeah, 94 to 97, like. <sighs> like, that's crazy. Like, that's insane. 30 years. Crazy, but also, 30 I years, won it? I was a kid. I literally was a kid when I was, like, four, three or four. When I was, like, one. No, I was two when that came out. <sighs> yeah. I love You were, it. like, what, four? Three or four. If it's next year, I was four. Yeah. So... That's crazy. Um, I do have a little bit of sad news I heard. It happened a couple of days ago, apparently, as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, voice actor of Dale Gribble from King of the Hill, John Hardwick, yes. passed away. I was like, damn. Yep. Crazy. crazy. I only found out because the saw it on the Instagram. I was like, oh. Yeah, I posted that up on the Insta. I saw that this morning, and I was like, oh, and it happened a couple of days ago. I was like, oh, damn. I'll uh, post that because yeah, Dale Gribble, one of my favorite characters. Ha! Sander, Pakistan. I just spat everywhere. <laughs> that was still one of my favorite memes that I did that time. It was like, Ugh! like there was like it's like I should do I should do um a Captain Planet one, but it was like the uh, fuck I can't sit properly. Um, Captain Planet. It, it was the um the Avatar hero. one. It was like. The, the when the four, when the fire nation attacked, it's like earth, wind, was it fire, Pakistan? <laughs> it's just so good. <laughs> like what all the elements, like where earth was, it was like I think I changed earth to pocket sand, so I was like fire, wind, water, it's like Pakistan. <laughs> so I think I need to do that again for like the Captain Planet intro. Where it's like earth, like when it's like earth, like pa-, like I I got to cut it so it's like at the end if it's I think it was earth. All oh, right. Because what it is like earth, wind, water, fire, heart. With the opera powers combined, I am Captain Pakistan. <laughs> just, I just cut it there. With the opera powers combined, I am yeah Pakistan. <laughs> uh, I love making the memes. I'm gonna find it now and do it before someone does else the, does it. Does the does the name Slobster Zuki ring and ring and Slobster Zuki? What the whole fuck is that? It's a lobster Zuki. What? Apparently, it's a street sharks thing. It's a lobster on a bike. I'm not surprised. I, just, I went down the rabbit hole, bro. You fucker. And there's man to man. I just like type a in lobster and it came up with, literally comes up with. Are you talking about street sharks? 
Oh my god, what the hell? Slobster. Oh my lord. Actually, I do remember yeah. him. Holy shit. I don't think I had... I don't remember having him, but I remember seeing him. And that shark with the hair. Fucking, um, rocks. Yeah. With the See, guitar. I, I, I had the, um, I had the slash. He had the drill on his face. Slash. The drill on his face. Yeah, he had a drill nose. I know there's Jab Hammerhead, but... I don't know the other one. But yeah, I had him as a, uh, I had him as a toy. I had the metal tooth one, the metal teeth. I know that. Um, I think I had the one with the roller blades. No, I had the one with the jeans, Ripster, because his teeth kept falling out because the glue wore. No, out. <laughs> his teeth kept falling out. <laughs> teeth would fall out. I could pull his teeth out, and I think it was him. Was that intended? <laughs> I don't know. It just, it just. No, no, no! It was the one with the hair. No, it was him with the hair. His teeth came out. His, Fucking uh, um. Uh, rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His teeth came out. And same as the um fucking the manta ray stingray one I had. His fucking teeth came out as well because the glue wore out. No. So I could I, I'd, I'd like with, with um the manta rays because his teeth came out a lot better. I'd be like teeth attack and I'd like when I was used to play them as a kid and I used to play them in the bath and I'd be like teeth attack and they'd like have his teeth flat and be like ah and he'd like bite on the other ones and be like no 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 and they'd fight and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd be like, and then the teeth would come back into his mouth. He'd be like, to the jack! And he'd be like, yeah! No, 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 no. It's fucking wild. Yeah, yeah, like, being, in, being from the 90s and that, like, all, all that shit's making the comeback. But it's always, like, the same few everyone had, because there was heaps of street shark toys, but, like, everyone always seemed to have the same few. Like, you'd always go to your friend's place and they always had the exact same ones. Like, it was, right? always, it was always the fucking. Like, always the, the exact same. It was crazy. Like, no one had... That was the same as the um, Small Soldiers as well. Yeah. I never actually had any of the Small Soldiers toys. I was bummed. I wish I had Small Soldier toys now, but they're just so fucking expensive. I wish they were really those. I remember getting my Chip Hazard. It was... Fuck. It was, it was when I was losing my front tooth when I was a little kid. Because <laughs> I, I wouldn't let no one pull it out. Mm -hmm. And I got um, blackmailed. Yeah, yeah, you're bribed. You're bribed. Right, I got I got bribed into it to get my chip hazard. I was the same with one I of the street sharks, if I remember. I was bribed the exact same way <laughs> with one of my teeth. They're like, "You're gonna, you're gonna do it." I was like, "No!" <laughs> like it's either the door, someone takes it, or it's gonna fall out. Which they don't, they don't always just come out. Oh, it's crazy to think as a kid, you're like, "Yeah, you're so excited." It was, about it was it. just dangling there, so I was like, "It just took one little." Yeah. Uh, but like as a kid, like no. <laughs> as a kid, like that's me now. Like as I feel like if oh okay yeah if I had baby teeth are gonna fall out and my teeth will grow back. Like now in general, like I I or even else again, I just had that weird feeling like ugh teeth shouldn't be falling out. But like as a kid, you think it's amazing. Like ah, yeah, let's pull out the door. Yeah, like you were so enthusiastic about it. Like it was it was an amazing thing. Like and you'd like ha ha look and then you'd flick your tooth out sometimes because it was loose and you're like ha ha then you or you or you eating something it's like. Huh. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, it was fine, it but then, like... as an adult, you're like, nah, that shit better stay in there. That ain't good. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Fucking, that ain't you fucking falling out. Like, I know it's because you think, like, because your last tooth, like, or if it's just, like, yeah, you but you're, at, you're thinking adult teeth don't stay in forever either. Like, no, they meant, like, they kind of are meant Because people are not meant to live past, like, 40. Like, yeah. that's, that's when shit's like going downhill. It's fucking wild. Oh. I just realized all these fucking sharks. There was even dinosaurs, like the T-Rex. Yeah, the dinosaur that. ones. I had a few of those. <laughs> Sorry, I got the sniffles. I don't remember that. I don't remember the fucking... It was a lot later towards the end that they did a dinosaur spin -off. I was I was only like fucking five when that was on. So I don't fucking barely remember it. But I remember I had the figures. They were like, yeah, yeah like yay big. Yeah. Decent size. Like, and they were, them in your they were pretty chunky, actually, when you think about oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm like, they I, they bring those back. I am buying them the fuck up. There's a killer. There's a kill Moby Lick. Moby Lick. Moby. Those names, man. Maybe that's why they got cancelled. What, Moby... What, with Moby Lick? Because <laughs> they, they couldn't... Uh, oh, we know we're going to go with Moby Dick because it seems a bit too offensive, even though that's the name of the story. But we'll call it Moby Lick. But that's not like... Yeah, well... I was playing like to, uh, some Tiny Tina's Wonder Wonderland, and um, one of the characters there was Moby Dick, or no, Mobley Dick. <laughs> also, 
There's um Gargle Snot or Gargle Gargle Snot. Extreme which is Gargoyle. Because there's there's literally Murphs. <laughs> You've got Murph head or something. Or what the fucking uh, name it was, is. It was the pterodactyl we had. The pterodactyl? The what, the Manta Man? The, uh, oh, the pterodactyl. Extreme dinosaurs, yeah. Just weird that they... Yeah. But that was like 90% of shows as a kid when we grew up. Like, shows were designed to advertise the toys. Like, they were literally, yeah. like, made so you could be encouraged to buy not toys. Not made... Like, not exactly made for, like, probably directly, but... They came afterwards, usually. Yeah, the toys were released, and it was just promo to make you feel excited. You're like, oh, I like this character. I'll feel like the dragonflies. Like, do you remember the old dragonflies? Dragonflies? The big fucking wing things? And you fucking rip the stick, and you pull in the gun. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> and you'd fly off. The dragonflies were cool, too. That they're, was fucking, they're a freaking hazard now, though. Like, they're like, fucking lethal. Yeah. But, like, that was a show as well. They were lethal when we were kids. Like, I know we've been down this road before. On an episode, but it's just the fact that we're actually we talked like the fact is we have talked about like in the past on the, on the podcast that we should bring these things back. Now we're actually getting them, and then like we're actually getting them now. Like it's like holy shit! Like it's just crazy. Like what's next? I like, mean, it's cool. Like I've been on my fucking He Man fucking Must the Universe fucking kick, buying all that shit up, trying to get what I can get. Fucking loving that. Like because uh, there's nothing from Mattel that I actually get now as an adult. Yeah. I got Hot Wheels, it. actually. Hot Wheels is the only thing, isn't it, really? And yeah, I only own the one Hot Wheel that comes with my game. Huh. I love Hot Wheels. I still get Hot Wheels. So, I don't have room kids. for Hot Wheels. Because like, you have to put them up on a, on an actual board or hang them up. If you're going to do it that way, yeah. Because you can't just have them laying about because you you need to show them off. I have mine in a box or in a tub. I mean, like, you need to show them off because... That's what they're for, like, they're that's, unique designs. That's why I've got, like, multiple, so there's... I haven't bothered to go through them yet, but there's ones I'll have, like... I buy multiples, because I eventually do want to, like, display one lot, and then have the other lot kept in the box. So yeah. I usually buy... So what I usually do is I... No, but you keep them in the box anyway, because you just hang them on a... Yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm saying, like, you, I, I... You get a big board, and... Just... I buy it, and I have a... I buy a few, so then... One's for display, basically, for, like, to pin up on a board that I do want to do eventually. The other one's to keep stored away in the box, and another one is to keep yeah. to possibly sell. So I just, like, buy multiples, and I'll have that for that promotion. And then sometimes I'll buy another one designed to open, so I can actually have it, like, open. So I usually buy three to four, depending on the type of vehicle it is. So I like to... Some of them I like it's to Thankfully, have. they're not expensive, so you can actually do that. Otherwise, it's something that I just want to keep as a set, and I just want to have one off set. Whereas, on. the, it depends. Street Sharks, if there's only the four... I'll just get one of each. I'll, I'll get two of each, mm. Mm. so I can just dis- I can just dis- I can display one somewhere and then have one box. I like to, like to say that I've shown before, like this Hot Wheels car. Like I like this car that much that I bought it just to open it. It looks like a, like a, kind of like a cyberpunk kind of car. It looks like Dom cross cyberpunk, like yeah, like it's really cool. I like, liked it, and I liked it that like, how it was I'll designed. Fast and Furious stuff, have, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> like I wanted to actually have it out and actually look at it because I wanted to appreciate it because I like the design. Right. Sometimes I like that with some cars. You want to actually appreciate them, so you want them out of your box. But yeah, um, man, what else was there? I think there was, that's all. We're in the fucking rabbit hole, you fuck. Yeah, yeah there's a rabbit, we always get down the rabbit hole. It always happens. Um, <laughs> fuck's sake. Um, but yeah, we just fucking got to um, talk. We've been outreaching to a few people as well, to a few friends. Um, we're going to try and get some new guests yeah, on the show. Yeah, outreach to be friends. Trying to get some new guests on the show, on the podcast. What I'm saying, the show, podcast, whatever. Try and get some more people on here. Tell me it's a show. Um, compared to other people's shows, that is just robotic and very scripted and no one likes watching. Um, as, is, uh, as is 100% scripted, I'm reading a teleprompter right now. Like, yeah, like some people have to follow their, their punch notes. Um, throwing shade. I was talking to Johnny about... I was, I was talking to Juddy about it the other day. You fuck! <laughs> yeah, not like some people that are very robotic and how they follow their notes. You don't... You, we, we just go all over the place when we have them. We don't stick in formation. Have a little, oh, fuck no. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think they... they, they yeah, yeah. We kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I was just talking to Juddy about it the other day. It was funny. Talking to Juddy! But I was saying, because he's doing his stuff lately and he's been doing a few other different um, projects and stuff, which is pretty cool. 
I was like, yeah, I want to get you back on again. He goes, yeah, it wouldn't, you know, it'd be cool. But, like, sometimes like, he goes, you know, you got to try and get other guests. Like, I oh, know. It is one of those things. It's just trying to line everything up with a few people. And I said, Jim needs to help on the Twitter and get more outreach and try and ask more people to get on again. He goes, he should. Oh, should. yeah. So you need it. I'm going to ask fucking Boogie again. We've got to get, we got to figure it out. So if, whenever Can we get available. an answer from Boogie? <laughs> we need to get, um, we need to get bloody, um, a Bushido as well. Oh yeah, we'll get gotta get a Saturday when he's not doing any, any well, anything if, as if well. It, if, he, if it happens to be another day, we'll just work it out. Like it has to be in the afternoon because once I start working, it will have to be in the afternoons. So even if we get him in one other a different day, it, it just oh won't yeah, be like we'll just work with it. If we can, if he happens to be a, fr- a Friday or if it happens to be a Sunday, we'll figure it out in the afternoon. A Friday or whatever day, we'll just do it. Whatever get him on. Day. We'll figure <laughs> yeah, it out. Whatever day, we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, there's a few people I've been outreaching to and. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they, some people I thought that'd be cool for, to get on the, the podcast. I think they got some good stories to tell. So, so they're not as bad as the other one. Yeah, that's one I always bring up as like it's still one of the worst. I feel like episodes we had. Um, that's just how I feel. It it was very unorganized. no. That's how other people felt. Very unorganized. How I it was laid out. It was a lot of stuff going on. But we learn. You live and we learn. Um, I'll always say that we live and we learn. Um, All right. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, who knows? Might 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 try and get Eddie on. Who knows? Um, who knows? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put a very doubtful on that one. <laughs> very doubtful on that one. He's been trying as soon to, as he's been soon as one thing me. happens, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> we get stuck in the loophole. That's kind of what happened oh, no. with the other episode too. We kept getting that weird tangent where we weren't really progressing. And we got stuck and we weren't going with the conversation. <laughs> That's why that... It's yeah. just... What happens? All right, yeah. So, we'll, we'll see it out. We'll, we'll, we've got to try and... Because it has been it has been a while, like, looking back, like, when we last had a guest on the show. Like, we actually, said we've got to get Wookie back at some point. Wookie, yeah. Wookie's busy a lot, too. I don't know what's... I haven't really heard from him lately. He's, he's always on, like, GDA, yeah. but I don't really hear him any other times, so... Busy man does what he does. Eh, we all do. What I'm, we do. I might get out the the old Twitter. See if we over can, the next week. See if you can see pull, what see, see what, what you can pull. Just put some feelers out there. Put some outreach. See who you can pull. I even in. use my Instagram maybe. See who you can pull in. See who we might be able to get. Just have them on and we'll just talk. I to will them. literally for not for shits and gigs. I will try and get um one of the inspirations for this. Yeah. One of the inspirations. One of the... Well, they're the dynamic duo as well, like... The dynamic duo. <laughs> Rhett and fucking Link, bruh. Imagine if, to... if we can get one of them on. I feel like you... I feel like for that, we would have to reach out to their, like... Not... I don't think them personally would have to reach out to, like, their PR team or yeah. something like that. Yeah. But if we could get, like, one of them or them on here, that'd be fucking... Gobsmacking, we'd have to just, I mean, but like we would, that one, that kind of episode, we would have to be not necessarily scripted, but like we would have to be within the regime of like you would just have to follow things, quash, questions, and they would have to keep. So it's not random questions. as hell for them. Yeah, yeah, like we still curveball them a little bit. It'd be like an interview per se, but like chat where it's like you know talk about like what's it like creating, you know, because they like their podcast yeah. and like talk about like you know how he's enjoying like for Link doing it with his dad and how his dad enjoys it all. Like imagine if we got his dad on the podcast. Right. Imagine if we fuck them. We just get his dad on the podcast, dude. We should just reach out to his dad. And just get and then and then go from I mean, there. Cause true. I reckon he'd be down to because I don't know who helps right. with him and who they're like. We can just out with reach with him and he'd be like, yeah, right, sure. Him. <laughs> get him on here instead and do a cro- like get something here and then, then maybe from there we would be uh... able to get Rhett and Link. You know. Like, it could, it, that's going to be as simple as that. Just getting, getting someone that's still pretty cool because it'd be cool to hear his stories. Like, you know, he's seen a lot. He's an old man. He's that's one thing that we're so new at because we don't fucking know anything about any of the PR stuff. I mean, it, like I said, it would be funny if we could at some point get like our dads on as well. Get an episode, try and get our dads to sit down with I us. Just, like, we, do, we just, no, we just leave them and talk. Fuck. Like do this where we could even start, like where we start, like get him in and we sit sit with like like this like so like I'll be sitting over here you know I have my dad here and then you'd be like the same thing you'd be there with your dad and we're doing it and we somehow like at some point we get up and just walk away and see if they have a conversation and just leave them to it and just like yeah easy content like 
Or, or like, I reckon they uh, actually would though. But like, I feel like if we got out, like I feel like either your dad or my dad, one of us will be like coming up, like, "Where'd you go? What are you doing?" And then that sound would break because like one of them. Or they just keep chatting. Yeah. Like, and and our will be like, "Stop! Stop!" But yeah, no, it'd be kind of cool to like get yeah get some headsets, fucking sit down. Also, that's even harder because your dad's not there, and mine's always either at work at yeah. this time. Mm. It would have to be like a, t- a time like on um, yeah because if he's free during the night right. or something like that we'd have to figure it out. Because I, I don't know I can just be like my dad like come over like yeah yeah, yeah and then just get some stories like get some stories <laughs> out of him, have him on and get some stories out of him, let him talk. Like There's probably things you wouldn't want to fucking hear to be fair. Or just fucking probably just start bad mouthing us. Oh, that was some crazy stories. Yeah, fucking do it. Oh, when they oh, were younger, the little shits fucking shit guns doing this right? and that and this and. Oh. So, we'll, we'll, we'll just stop. We'll just stop that. <laughs> cut, 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 cut the. Oh, fucking. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's what we're going to be like. Because you don't know what they're going to say. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm just thinking who else we could. There's, there's a, like bit, a bit like us also. Try and. Yeah, so I know there's like. Because you got the tier. So you got like the higher people. So like. Like. Smosh, Anthony Nee, and they're pretty high up there. But then if you come down like the next peg of like people that work with them, like, they feel like the things where you got to try and get to, like, make your steps, so you get them in, and then you go to the next kind of thing up, and then you go to the next thing up, and you I'm try... I'm trying to get freaking Boogie on, like, no, no well, matter actually, what. Have you seen lately who's trending fucking, um, there's been a weird thing trending lately, but it's, uh, Zero, the guy who played Zero from, um, Holes, he's been, like, doing oh, a lot of shit lately. Is. Oh, if you've seen D- Disney's Holes, uh, has Shia LaBeouf in it, um... The character called Zero. I can't remember his name. I, I saw that back in fucking like primary school. Or yeah, something. like, like he, long he, he, time set ago. Up, he set up a thing like for an anniversary, and they did a screening somewhere in like America, of course. But like they did a screening, got the casting and the actors and all that cut together to for it, and it was like crazy. Like, like he's just been like doing stuff lately. It's like let me kind of imagine like, even like getting some of that, reaching out and getting someone like that, or like you know, because it's just I don't know. Like I mean, we don't really have much virality to us. We're still like a oh, fucking. 61 subscriber channel but we've got fucking four seasons worth of content like fucking, right. we, we make content we've got, we've got the content we've got enough fucking hours like we, it, soon it, to be 171 episodes like how many 171 episodes at least if you go an hour each, i know we're more than an hour so, but like let's just say an hour well, we are I'm you know, four like yeah so we'll just round it you know an hour and a half well let's just round it to make it even so it sounds nice so it's like what 171 hours the plus, so then maybe uh, if you want to round probably, up to double. No, it's definitely like near double that. So three, four hundred hours of like of content we've we've made. Yeah, well, thank you. Like we've got hours and hours of content for people to consume that we've been putting our work in. Like we should be at the point where we could almost collab with anyone. Like it should be like, do cold ones, fucking. I mean, it's it's not about the numbers. No, like, but like, that's, sub- what that's what I'm saying. The subscriber number. It's got, more of the, um, we've the got effort the content. and the we've, stuff we've, put in. That's like, what I mean. Like, we've got the effort. We've got the content. We're doing... We're yeah, committed. like, I fucking love doing we're, this. We're committed to it. Exactly. Like, we're committed. Like, we should be at the point where we are committed. We should be able to get almost... Like, not... Like, you know, almost anyone as, as per se, it feels I like. I mean, because, we could just got to contact the right people. Yeah. Because it'd be kind of cool just to get... And also, you either go by their schedule as well, yeah. most times. I know a lot of them would be by their schedule. Which isn't that bad. Even if we could get them for like, on for fucking, you know, 30 minutes, you know, for a small, you know, we cut them together, you right. know. We have our segment where we do our thing and then cut to that, or that and then cuts back to a normal podcast where we talk about it. So we could have it where we have guests right. on, 30 minutes of that podcast, and then the other rest of the podcast is us talking yeah, about that podcast. Yeah, us talking yeah, right? about that and then whatever else, you know, and it's putting it together. So when we're giving back, it's like watching that, but then giving back a behind the scenes as well to that episode, mm. you know, almost. So it'd be kind of cool. So Gabagoo, Gabagon. Gabagoo. So yeah, no, I would love. I, I... Do you have a tea in that? No, it's water. Oh, I'm going to say, because that'd be cold by now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my water bottle, man. Fill her up, fill her up, got to get to the top, got to fill I thought you had like a, I didn't say the water, I thought you had like a fucking, um, like a you. teapot or something there full of tea. No, I just been... <laughs> just <laughs> well, you said fill her up, you like you fucking spilt it. <laughs> what 
was that face? It, it was so weird. It was like, hmm. <laughs> also, you know, for next episode, hmm? there might be. I will definitely show the good, the new guitar in there because it's gonna be good. That's nice, nice, nice. I was hoping it's going to be this week, but it's not. It's definitely next week. Sometime it's going to turn up. I'm fucking keen, bro. Uh, did Tigger Mules tell you that he ordered one too? He ordered a guitar? No, he did not. He's like, like they're so cheap. Yeah. And then he's like, thank you for this website. You're going to buy all the damn guitars on the damn store. Well, that was like... um. Uh, Neb, he messaged me today and was telling me that... The, um, Got himself one of those um, Guitar Hero Live guitars, so he could play Clone Hero. Oh I think it was. no, they're, they're they're weird. Yeah, but he, he got himself. They got like six buttons, ones up, one down. Not like, bad though. Huh? But like he um got himself Clone Hero, so he's gonna jam out some Clone Hero. Like fuck yeah, do it. Like he got the wrong guitar for that though. Clone Hero is the Guitar Hero one, isn't it's it? It's compatible. Yeah, but most Clone Hero things are just the four. Mm. Five? It's still is the same four thing. Or five you, 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 you lay it out or whatever it is. Yeah. So it's not bad because then you can have your own fucking Just, just get Rocksmith. Fuck. It's, it, you can get it, all the meme songs on Rocksmith. But, but it's easier sometimes because you've got an actual guitar, so, you know. Yeah, but still, like, hey, there's websites where you get guitars cheap, <laughs> as we found out. Well, not eh. a couple hundred bucks, three hundred bucks. Get a, that yeah. ain't that, that ain't you bad. Getting a you're doing that guitar somewhere else, it's like a fucking grand or so. Order it and you end up getting a miniature version of it. <laughs> I still play a ukulele. Imagine, imagine actually having it, but it's like a miniature version of it. Like that would be hilarious. <coughs> that would be funny. It's like I got actually, my guitar. No, we... My axe came, but it's the same thing, but proportioned down. <laughs> That's what I don't get. Why is it fucking called an axe? Because it's an axe. Because when people used to hold it on the, by the neck. Yeah, but like, where is literally an axe-shaped guitar? I mean, there are a few. That'd be amazing. Like, it'd have to, like, you play on the fucking blade, like, mm. <laughs> No, so there's something that some been fucking made. fucking cool as, like. Yeah, there's, someone's made one before. Yeah, but they don't, no one professionally Not... has one, like. <laughs> But someone just made it in their like <coughs> basement or some shit, like in their shed. Like, there's only like one out there. Yeah, you know who has it, right? And yeah, yeah, no one sees it, or something like that. You know who has it. Doesn't the axe get played. Guitar. You know who has the axe guitar, right? The axe axe guitar. You have a look at that. Did we send it to you? No, I want you to guess. Don't look it up. Oh. Who do you think has the axe guitar? I'll send it to you in a sec. Is it literally a musician? A member of a band. Can you, can you narrow it down? Because there's a lot of fucking bands. Um, they wear makeup. It's Kiss. Yeah. I don't know any of the, any of the guitarists. It's not fucking Gene Simmons, is it? Yeah, he, the has, he has an axe guitar. A literal axe guitar. Uh, I just sent you the photo. Oh, I see it. I'll take a little picture of it. It's like a green fucking thing down the bottom. It's an actual, actually pretty cool, though. It's an actual axe guitar. Like, a legit axe bass. Oh, there's so many of them. He's got a few different ones. I want one. I want, I want Gene Simmons's. Hey, the one there where it's got, like, the knobs actually on the blade, like, the blade part of it. You got knobs on the blade? The one oh, because I was have knobs. Yeah, but like actually on where the blade part of the axe is. Send you the photo. Hang on. The term dates back to the mid 50s when jazz musicians used it as a slang word for saxophone. Sax, axe. Yeah, oh, yeah. sax, the axe. axe. The axe. But it went from a saxophone over time, it became a go to term for the electric guitar. How does it go from a saxophone to a guitar? Interesting. It goes from like a brass wood, like wind instrument, over to a guitar. Like, nah. Yeah. I don't know. But a, 
Sax makes sense. Axe. Yeah, that makes sense. Jamming on the axe. Guitar, not really. Unless you're unless you're destroying the like the guitar. <laughs> uh, maybe that's where it came from. Like when fucking people were doing that. I don't know. People Can you actually get an axe? Guitar, like you probably can't buy them commercially. Maybe. Most probably not. <laughs> okay, but they're very expensive. So oh, only five hundred dollars. How much? Five hundred from AliExpress. Oh, five hundred dollars, AliExpress. It's, it's my favorite fucking mini one. No, it, it's a proper guitar, but it looks not like. <laughs> oh, bad. Oh, there's a Gene Simmons one. It's four grand. Oh, that's not bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot more than that. That's a lot, though. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's also... The one that I saw, straight up, is 3.3 grand. It's an ESP. It's technically not an axe. Yeah. But I'll send you the link to this, because I just think this is amazing. Oh. Hang on. Uh, on the Discord? On the Discord. Oh, on the Discord. Yeah, because this is amazing, and I kind of want it, but three and a half grand, nearly. It is pretty... Fu I, I, I could say rock that. Let's have a look I swear. My messages. Do it. My messages. I kind of want it. Like, it oh, looks wow. amazing. It's a dragon. Looking thing. Like, how cool is that? That's different. Fucking different. It's at a, an actual retailer here. The devil, it's a. Uh, the devil. The devil, like, babe. It's an awkward shape. Oh, it's a sexy. The fucking devil. devil. Yeah. Damn, that's actually really cool. That's cool is that? Fuck, that's cool. And then the tail comes up over the. Over the fretboard, yeah. Right? Like. Fuck yeah. Bruh. First edition. That actually. But three and a half grand nearly. Oh, uh, three hundred dollars shipping. Yeah, ah! it's twenty six shipping. Germany, made by German. Guten, good Guten Good What else did they make? What else? <laughs> yeah, two thousand three. Oh. Two thousand three. Only two things he has for sale. And that is a cool fucking thing that he has for sale. Like. <laughs> the other one's a guitar strap. A strap or strap? Strap. Which you'd buy both oh, so okay. then you put the strap on the guitar. <laughs> it's like, why not just chuck them together, bro? Like, why sell them so... How, how much is the strap then? Like, a hundred bucks? I, I didn't look. I closed it. Good. So did, yeah. so, so, so did I. Um, um, <laughs> um, no, yeah. that guitar is worth having. Like, fuck. That's pretty five, cool. Three and a half grand. It's I'll like the old that. dual guitar. Where it was like the split legs, like the legs were split up. Yeah, but dual that guitar though. That was funny. That always makes me laugh. That guitar. I I like the dual guitar where it's got like the underneath. Yeah, the double. You got like the two different guitars. Mm. You just put your hand That's through cool. up there or down there. Because you got either an acoustic and electric, or you got two electrics, one at a different tuning. Yeah. That'd be cool though, to rock out on like into doing rocksmith. I'm like, I just gotta just gotta drop tuning. <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. Like you get different levels, so you get more variety. Like, yeah, well, I'm gonna get an eight an eight string. Oh, trying to traverse seven your maybe hand, traverse your hand across that like. It's not that bad. That's it's wider. A, I think a seven string is as big as a six string, except it's just one extra string, so it's yeah. only up by a little bit more. They compacted or something. I don't know. It'd just be a weird thing. Like, you go from six to seven. Get the extra note in. It'd be like going from, like, bass to electric. Like, bass yeah. to a, like, bass guitar to a guitar, but an extra two strings. I guess it'd be like that for an eight string. I guess so. I mean, there uh, are the 12 string guitars that look like a fucking six, but there's two strings per string like it's two it's a double thing like closer how do you even play one of those you'd have to be very finicky with it like like because i've could... seen them there's 12 fucking strings like i couldn't do it i couldn't i i'll make noise that's about it maybe noise playing doing doings 
Doing. Doings? Um, Doings? Yeah, what else? What Doings? Have what else have you got there? Um, I was going to mention the Red Dead physically on the 17th also. Yep. No, digitally on the 17th. Physically October 13th. Yeah. Drop a photo. I don't know why there's such a big difference PS4 there. Like, come on, bro. Wasn't it? The fact that it's digitally so close, like, why not just well, have it's so weird, though, well? like, the Switch, like, okay. Which makes sense. It's a very old game. Like, yeah. it could run on there. But I'm just at the same time, it's just like, that's a bit weird to, like, I don't know, because it kind of makes sense for, like, PlayStation, because they did do one for Xbox. That was a while ago. But, like, you know, it makes sense. But no, that's like... just the uh, 360 game, just, it's back compat, so. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. It makes kind of sense for PlayStation to do, like, you know, but then yeah, because it's not back compat, like because like, on PS3. So, like, who wants to go out there and be like, I'm gonna play Red Dead on my Switch? Like, but the okay. fact that I don't have Red Dead 2 on the Switch means you got to play the sequel. That, that's what I mean. Like, like, it just seems weird. Like, it's weird, it's strange. I don't get it. I hope they don't just put GTA 4, like, they have to touch that up, surely. Rockstar's got to do that. Not someone, not 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 someone else. Yeah, exactly. Don't let fucking. Because GTA Four is their like is their baby. Yet? Like, I mean, so is Red Dead, but yeah, I'm guessing they couldn't do anything with that because the Xbox already has it, but it's still 4K 30. And I'm guessing they just ported that straight over because it's still probably the same. Yeah. They have a red bump. That's it. And hopefully they change the controls. All we can just do is just wait. Sit the wait second and see. game. Like that's all we can do is just wait and see. Well, we're only gonna wait five days. And then we'll hear about it, like people giving their reviews and shit. So. Not even earlier than that, I think. Yeah. You probably get Digital Foundry. Probably already got it right now, playing it, like, and giving their making their videos like Harrison. ready to drop very soon. Yeah. That's it. So gonna... always wait for their reviews because they're the best. Hmm. They go in depth with everything. That's what you want. Whereas all these Xbox, Twitter, fucking wannabes who would just... You know, this you, game you, was you, bad. You, How long did you play for? You, 10 minutes. You just link up the um, Digital Foundry video oh. and then and you hear nothing from them. Yeah. I still find it funny what a... On the freaking Beanie Bros account. That thing I... Was, yeah. I heard nothing back. No. Sad. Because the dude is taking screenshots of Final Fantasy 16 and goes, This game's amazing. And he goes, You saw mid. <coughs> like, if 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 yeah. Final Fantasy 16 is mid, then Redfall, that is fucking. That's not even up there. That's at what all. I was going to say. If it looks amazing and it's mid, imagine if it wasn't mid. Like, you know what I'm saying, though? Like, it's funny that they're. The like, word mid just is mid. Like, what the it's, fuck? Yeah, it's medium. It's like mid, bet. Uh, mid makes sense. Mid mid was always mid. Like mid always makes sense. It's middle, medium, like mid. Like yeah, but but bet mid. bet That's... is just weird. Bet bet is what you're a fucking when when you're gambling. Like you all make right, a bet. bet. No, my solution where the slang came from. I was like, all right, bet. Like all right, let's make a bet. But right. People don't use it in the right it's, time. It's, time. That's my exact response. Because when someone says, bet, I was like, how much? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck's sake. Um, also, there's some controversy there about Street Fighter Six. Yeah. Right now. About how they added the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. But this is in USD. They're $15 a skin. You can't buy them as a pack. They're literally fifteen dollars individually, I think. Individual, that's sixty fucking dollars for four skins. Oh my god. I don't know if they're gonna like bundle them or something or reduce the price, but no one's happy. No one is happy. Fifteen USD each, so that's, that's like twenty crazy. bucks here, yeah, twenty that's each crazy. for a skin? Yeah, it's like eighty fucking dollars for skin. I mean, I feel like Fortnite does offer a little bit more than that. Yeah, because that's it's just skins. That's just one skin for fifteen dollars. So all the good things they got for the for the game, and they just did that. And so hopefully they fix it. Like, come on. Also, Modern Warfare Three is November tenth. If I didn't say that earlier, 
It was confirmed like three, four days a, days ago. They basically when they announced that the thing was happening on the seventeenth. It's like okay. Also, THQ had an event this morning. Yeah. Uh, five a five a.m. Yeah. Gothic remake got some. It got a, a cinematic thing. Okay. Which looks fucking good. That's like if that's in engine, as I think it is, it looks. And a few other things. Yep. That I couldn't care to put down. Was it noteworthy? Um. But um, no, Nintendo had one a couple of days ago as well, a few days ago, mm. where like Mew and Mewtwo were in the new Pokemon games. Yes. Mew new drops DLC. straight in. Mewtwo you can get during a raid. It's part of the new DLC, because I think that just came out. And um, out. they also announced, only online though, you need Nintendo Switch online, but Pokemon Stadium 2! Yes. I'm like, mm, they, there's, there's my childhood right there. Well, not right. childhood. It's a bit, a bit later than that. Yeah. When I when 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 I was early teens. No, a bit earlier than that. Yeah. About ten. Pokemon Stadium two, like, but it's only Nintendo Switch Online, which kind of sucks. Like, yeah. can you make it a physical fucking cartridge? Yeah, you won't get all those physicals because all part of the digital downloads and stuff. Part of them. Yeah, but they should. Like, I don't want to have an online thing, like a thing just to play that. Like, fuck me. Well, yeah, they're trying to get people to jump. It's like, well, you're going to have to play online with your friends, so let's put a part of this so that you get access to it and you can play with your friends and this whole... I don't want to play Nintendo with my friends. I just want to play it by myself. Yeah, mumbo-jumbo. That's what Nintendo was back in the day. Literally, they were mostly single-player. Oh, or, I, um... My Nintendo was always, or like... Couch, or, or couch co-op. Like, yeah. That's it. They're trying to do that breakaway because not everyone's couch co oping anymore, so they're trying to get the outreach. But, like, we'll give you this and you can connect with your friends with your membership and play online. That's bullshit. Give us a physical fucking Pokemon Stadium 2 cartridge. You can yeah. just put on a damn cartridge. It's that fucking easy. Yeah. People will buy that. Yeah. Instead of just doing your monthly service. That's it. But, you know. Well, then, I digress. Yeah. Maybe there's a Pokemon Stadium 3 coming. Who fucking knows? Oh, they've, well, they've been talking about Because that's the reason why they're dropping that now. Oh, they did mention a while back that it was coming to the store. The Plus Bim. It's yeah, but I reckon they might be yeah, but dropping it now, though. Like, Yeah, it's like they're, well, they're bringing a lot maybe more a third one. It's, they're doing hopefully. their bloody... Um, doing like their... Get their Nintendo Game Pass, basically. Part of your subscription. And Detective Pikachu, too. Yes. That got revealed. I, I'm not... Playing that either. It should bring the first one back to Switch. It is. No, the first one's on um 3DS. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, there's two that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well the second one's on Switch, so that's good. I should bring the first one back, so like for those that want a refresher, they have to bring yeah. out a fucking 3DS to dig it out. You, you reckon it's connected? Oh like, yeah, straight it's, on. It's, it does. Yeah, it's straight on because you news. Yeah, would you think it would? Like fuck. <laughs> I've watched the Bing trailer it. to it. Oh, yeah. I haven't played the first one, so... Yeah, I got the first one three. I couldn't give two titties about it. It wasn't a bad game, it's just, yeah. I just wish they had to... Uh, bring the first one to... Hopefully. Also, you know during these writers' strike? Yeah, yeah. Sonic 3's got to begin shooting next month. Yeah. Without the actors. So they're doing all the actorless scenes until... The strike's over. Well, there's a few people like, well, was like, um, from what I heard, like, Kevin Smith got permission to film a movie during the writer strike. Um, there's like, there's a few people that have been given permission that they, like, they were applied yeah. for, and so and he's managed to get her out, like, got one of those, he managed to be, like, there's but not you many... can't promote it, I don't think, or anything, like, you have to just do the movie. There and... was something, he, something about his, he got, he managed to get permission for being able to do, so he was lucky enough out yeah. of most of them to be able to get through it. So, which is kind of cool. Yeah, because that could be a big drought for ages. Yeah. Not for ages, but like a gonna be... few months easy. Yeah, the hiccup on a lot of stuff. So, interesting to see how that goes. I think, uh, as as the consumers as we are, we shouldn't care. Oh, it doesn't it's, mind it's more me on what a, the writers uh, want. Say it doesn't mind me on a Marvel front, which is mainly where it's coming from. Is everyone's trying to boycott Disney, and the right yeah, good, do Disney's it. not paying people properly. That's where it all started from. It yeah. started from literally Disney not yep. paying people properly. It's all Disney doing. That's why, like, people support them like they're the Messiah. They're fucking worse than like they're the biggest money hungry. And the crunch time, the crunch time is ridiculous. They expect people to get shit done in like days and weeks when 
these things take, you know, more than just weeks. Like they're expecting it done in, in one week when it used to take them weeks to do and they're just trying to crunch them down. Yeah, but now down. people can do it that quick, except... Um, it's not big budget. You they're even, the, they want more... They they want faster than, like, even a day. They now. want like, quantity, not quality, and that's the problem. That's why we're seeing things yep. like, to me, like I saw with Secret Invasion, the writing was bad, the acting was bad, the effects were bad, like, the narrative was bad. Like, everything was bad because, like... Clearly, there's crunch time, then they just fucking spent <laughs> the it. intro was AI generated. For yeah, they literally sake. just AI generated an intro, like, like fuck me. And just the writing was so cringe, like literally the narrative, and you know we finally got Samuel Jackson standalone story basically for Nick Fury, and even he hated it. It was just garbage. Like the pacing was made no sense. The, the surprises were kind of expected a point, but like weirdly done. It was just like. And, Mar- and, Mar- and Maria got the worst fucking send off ever. Yeah, shit way of doing it. She's been there since day one, <laughs> nearly. Like, and they're like, oh, "Let's do this." But on the not better things, but sad. It's it's fucking bittersweet. But um, Lance Reddick has been replaced as um, Zavala by Keith David. I I saw that. My personal opinion was I feel like Zavala should have just rested as a character because he's been there so long. Like, couldn't. I, they I couldn't. Know. Know, he's literally an integral part. To, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wish to, they, the they next kind DLC of and shit. made a new character and brought it in maybe to replace him. Just, just ditch him and went, oh, oh someone else. Uh, like, nah. kill him off. Like, <laughs> it's just weird. I just feel it just feels weird to keep the character. Yeah, but Keith David does have the same vibe. Like, yeah. I know. I just felt weird that it's like they've got to do something to maybe show the difference <clears throat> but soon we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes eventually maybe have him in an accident and then he's slightly injured that's why his voice changed they don't sound too dissimilar though thank, thankfully well they're both gruff like yeah. I don't know I'll just I'll just be thinking fucking old mate from Saints Row ah <laughs> oh, Julius Julius the whole time <laughs> Yeah, well, he's in a lot of things you don't even think he's in right now. Like, he's in a, a lot of things we've been playing uh, and even know it. When was that posted? It was posted today, apparently. Oh, that was this morning, I guess. What? Oh, I didn't even get the notification. I only got the notification now by that certain x on Twitter going, Starfield releases in 20 days and we still don't have a new trailer. What are you doing, Xbox? They're not marketing it. That's what they're exactly. doing. Neither is, neither is Bethesda, though, to be fair. A, a trailer. That's one thing, and have you noticed that no one's hyping it? Yeah. I just like how some... It's funny that there's x doing this, and there's other x having a go at him. It's like this one guy, a trailer, was it was a 45-minute deep dive not good enough for you? <laughs> and this no. is coming from another x Like, literally, their, their, their name is Hellboy 2 is coming. Hell, no, Hellboy, Hellblade. Sorry, Hellboy. <laughs> Hellboy 2, fuck off. <laughs> Hellblade, Hellblade 2 is coming and their icon is an Xbox I, logo. I am not excited for Starfield at all, even from that 45 they're, minute deep they're literally, they're, they're, they're Okay. Their banner is Xbox Game Studios with a slash Kojima Productions. Their icon is the Xbox what? logo. <laughs> their name is Hellblade 2 is coming, but their at tag is Perfect Sanoa. Like, what? Uh, Perfect Senua. Yeah. Why, why, why is she perfect? She's literally insane. And then they're, with our swords, we all... Have they played the first game? It was, it, was, it, was on, it was on PlayStation. Have they played that? Like, I... Fucking hypocrites, they haven't. Yeah, like, they're clearly an x but like... <laughs> like, fuck. But then, but then they're an x but then they're making, they're showing posts about, like, PlayStation games, and then there was a contest going, you want to win a Spider-Man PS5? They they retweeted that like <laughs> what? Are they they they're an export, but then they're not an export? Like I don't get it. See, I don't go on Instagram, not Instagram. I don't go on Twitter for a while, and all that happens. <laughs> I I literally barely on Twitter because it's just full of exports. I kind of want to come back on there after Starfield's out. Um, oh my fucking god! <laughs> <You can't... laughs> 
<laughs> Get this. What? PlayStation to die out in a cup in a decade, says anal- says analyst. <laughs> in a decade. PlayStation's gonna die. Like they fucking uni sends a damn son, PlayStation on life support. Can't be. And then, and then he hashtags Xbox. Like what? What is the here's the other one we follow going um the picture says PlayStation PlayStation Five RPG to rival Starfield beats Zelda on Metacritic, which we're talking about Baldur's Gate, and then then they put yeah, their tweet going calling Baldur's Gate Three a PlayStation Five RPG is insane. They literally have nothing to do with the game. Some people in gaming media are only interested in lying to help PlayStation. Pathetic. It's like, but a journey on PlayStation and PC. Yeah. It's technically a, an, ex, an exclusive, like not directly, yeah. but technically it is because Xbox can't run it. <laughs> but then this other dude who was like, who's like making fun of, I guess, Xbox goes, I literally post a picture of top paid games on Xbox and more proof that they've run out of things to whine about. And the picture says, Stray is already number one in top paid games on Xbox in the UK. People buy games. And then somebody replied going, Xbox don't buy games factual. <laughs> Xbox don't buy games. Factual. But I mean, well, I mean, a lot of people want to play Stray, and Stray's not on Game Pass, so you know, you have to buy it. I don't. It's still going to be releasing December. Like I said, I'm not bagging on Starfield, but the fact there's like no one's hyping it up when it's out in less, like in only like three weeks. Yeah. Where's the hype? Yeah, there's no hype for it. Because they're not selling copies. You can bet your bottom price. dollar. As soon as October hits, or like maybe September, Spider-Man 2 is going to be promoted so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen more about Baldur's Gate 3, and I don't even find none of that. Yeah, leading up to it. Starfield. There's so much people talking about before the game came out. So many people were talking about reviews and stuff, and... I mean, I'm keen for that game because, A, it's a fucking good game. Well, well, like, well, the other thing is, my question is being is, did they even give out review copies of Starfield? Probably not because... Exactly, they don't want people to... That's know what I mean. No one's getting copies early because the game's... I bet it's... It's got to be one of them dud, like Fallout 76, but worse. Oh, there's the embargo about it. And then once the date comes out and all the reviews drop, and they're just like bagging out all these reviews that's dropping. Just yeah, Redfall. Like, yeah. Right. If your review embargo is on day it releases, the game is either a 10 out of 10 or a 1 out of 10. Yeah. Because get people playing and talking about it. Do that, or otherwise just. At all. Oh. Anyway. I do want to like Starfield, but I've got a feeling it's going to be bland as fuck. Well, the fact that there's so many planets are going to be so empty. A thousand planets, and only one is handmade. The rest are procedural generated. Like, nah, bro. It's like the hub world, I guess. Is it one? Is it one that's handmade? Like hub the world? one with the city on it? Yeah, like, I think like I don't main, fucking main hub know. world that you come to. Which, that, again, that's just bloody No Man's Sky. It took like a decade to make one world and... <sighs> Being lazy. The fact that you cool. cannot fly the ship in, you have to... It gets a, it's a, like a loading screen and then you land. Yep, you pick the planet you want to fly. Unless you have No Man's Sky, you can fly in and fly out. I love that. It's good for dogfights. Yeah, not on stuff. <laughs> it's so fun because you like start leaving a planet. You're I'd... fucking pulling out, you're like, yeah, and you break it through, and then it's like you got someone. I've got a you. feeling. You fly yeah, in, not gonna be on series ass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because it's just four K thirty, and the series S is ten eighty p to fourteen forty. Well, if shit. they can get that running on the series S without any hiccups, <clears throat> this is gonna look like dog shit. It. it... I, I know I said I'm not bad as Tarfield, but I'm not hyped at all. Yeah. Exactly. It. It's not. And can my game of the year be a game from like ten years ago? <laughs> what game? No, I'm just saying, like, because I'm I freaking like Shadows of the Damned. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> not game of the year worthy. Except uh, it is janky as fuck. It's a good game, but it's not game of the year worthy. No, but I enjoyed it. I've I've almost I'm in the last chapter. Yeah. <laughs> and I've nearly platinumed it. I'm fucking happy about that. Damn, yeah. That's crazy. Oh, that's, what kills that platinum? You gotta do three full playthroughs. Yeah. One on hard, medium, and easy. Like, can't they just stack the trophies? Right, it would make sense if they could. But you know, whatever. <sighs> I don't know. Because that game is not easy. When that bitch chases you, when Paula chases you, you die with one grab. It's like. And you go in the stupidest way. You can't outrun her. Yeah. You literally can't do something trying to stop to shoot something. She's yeah. right there. Yep. And the fact that she sounds like a rabid dog. Yeah. <laughs> She's chasing you. Why the people in stream just laughing at the fact? I mean, they're also they're also horrified by her. The way that she sounded. Yeah. <laughs> No, but I can't believe I haven't played that. A, l a lot of people came in and said they can't believe they missed that. Yeah, it's a good game. But... And then I had one guy come in and said it was their favourite game. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's cool. Yeah. Also, when you, when you get the big boner, that big fucking long ass, that thing where I almost rage quit the game at that point. That's wild. It starts off, you got your three lanes. You just... Yeah. Then you get your four lanes. Then you got your fucking five lanes. I. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh, I kind of wish I re I recorded that two streams. It would have been done. Yeah, it's so fucking good. Like where 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 is that EA gone? They published that game. Like yeah, well it was all bloody. Well, it's because it was gr Grasshopper who designed them. They still do kind of. Kind of publish those games? Well, not really. I guess they're not partnering with them anymore. I guess, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That that EA is long gone, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, remember single EA, player games are dead. That EA, if if it was that EA was still around, they would have released bloody the third Alice Madness game. Well, I think they would, but I think the thing was just bad. The pitch. I, that's the only reason I could think of. No, the the pitch was great. Like all the stuff that he'd done was great. Like I was supporting his Kickstarter. There was so much cool shit. Like, yeah, but there had to be a reason why EA said no, though. Well, they're not into single-player games. <laughs> well, they are, because the Star Wars and... Like, I don't know, it's just... Titanfall. Because it's, it's well, Alice... multiplayer, I think, It's right? Alice in Wonderland, though, as well. Like, Alice, in general, is, like, one of those franchises. It's got to be... It also never sold that well. If, if there was a new movie coming out, I reckon they would have jumped mm. on board, because they would be like, yep, we'll do your thing, because the name is being used IP-wise, it's trending, Let's let's get on that trend board. But because that's like that's when that one came out, like there was shit going on with Alice, in general. I fucking thought I saw that name. You know, you know who made Shadows of the Damned? Mm. Shinji Mikami. Mm. Shinji. He so he Shinji. literally did that, and then he went to um. He would have went to uh, what's it called? The 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 the, 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 the fucking developers. Crap! What was... Tango Gameworks. That's it. Because what else they do? Yeah, he he literally founded that the same just before um, Shadows of the Dam came out. Yeah. In 2010, when that came out, in 2011. Isn't that crazy? How like he literally made Shadows of the Dam. Yeah. That's crazy. And then went to Evil Within. Yeah. You can kind. Kind of see the, you can kind of feel the different. Like it's kind of the same because they're both drink. Like the Evil Within, I couldn't play. Yep. I just, I couldn't. I just didn't like the control in that. Like the, I don't know how I felt to play. Oh. Actually, now that oh. I read his thing, he actually made Vanquish as well. That game is so good. <laughs> he makes all the good games. Um, are you gonna are you are you gonna play it again, Jim? The uh, what? Shows of the team. Yeah, I'm gonna play the uh, remaster. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you can do it again. That was that's revealed for this year. I think sometime yeah. this year it comes out, which is pretty cool. That's what made me grab it back a few months yeah. ago. 
Because, like, there's a remaster. Fuck. <laughs> I already just waited for it, but I'll play the, I'll play the original. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get that. It's so good. Like, I hope they don't, like, I really hope they don't um, censor anything in that. Right? They better not. Like, it's part of the whole dish of it. Like, they, they literally, if they censor anything, that's sad. Oh, Grasshopper's still going. Yeah. Just without Mikami. Okay. Yeah. No yeah. more heroes. I have to play No More Heroes, man. Those games look so good. They are so good. I forgot about the Wii. They are so good. They need to bring them across. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ports and remakes. Here we go. Show of the Damned. Lollipop Chainsaw remake. That's a, an actual remake. Yeah, I remember that one. That's coming out this year as well. That's crazy. We haven't really had I think it's this year. It says 2023 on it, so... Yeah. No More Heroes 2. Oh. oh. Lollipop Chainsaw is not... It's not being um, supervised by Grasshopper. Oh, that's the uh, remaster not being supervised by them. No, the remake, remake of Lollipop Chainsaw is not being supervised. Yeah. But the Shadows of the Damned is. Yeah. But that's just a remaster, not yeah. a remake, so... Depends on what they're doing. The Why couldn't they just remake that? Like... <laughs> James Gunn's involved? With Lollipop Chainsaw? James Gunn is, is involved with the soundtrack. Oh, no. Hang on. Full remake with original producer, neither Suda51 or James Gunn are involved. Damn. Yeah. James Gunn had the original. Yeah. But he's not involved. Bruh. Oh, No More Heroes 3 is on Xbox and that. I'd have seen it then. Is it... That's like an open world game, right? Kind of? I don't know. Because I've seen gameplay. Oh. It looks like it's an open world. Yeah, kind of. And it's wacky as fuck. <laughs> like how sad of the damn is now that I'm playing that. Yeah. Oh. Reflux. But... Uh. No, I don't know. We'll see how... See how the remake goes of Lollipop Chainsaw, like, because that game was so kind of the same as, um, yeah, the damn, like, literally that sense of humor. Oh yeah, a lot of that upskirt shots and perversion. Yeah, you got a trophy for that. So if you got the trophy, people know you looked, hmm. or the achievement if you're on Xbox. Like, <laughs> I don't think I ever had that though. Or maybe I don't fucking remember. Like... That account's long gone when I had that. Mm. I wish I had that PlayStation account still because I had so much on there. That's why that's what that's what I started with on PS3. So <coughs> yeah, all my PS3 games are literally on that account, which I can't get anymore because I've got the password. I did you try and recover it? Oh, you don't have the email. No, I think I know what the email is, but I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered because then I try and run two accounts. Fuck that. I just wish, like, because I own both, they just combined it. Gave me my old trophies into the. on my recent PS4 account. Try and see, you could always try and ask if they could. I don't know. Don't reckon. Can you imagine? Like, hey, I own, I own both of these. Can you just port these over? Thanks. <laughs> but, uh. No, I'm, I'm, I've been enjoying it again. Like, I've played more games than ever right now. That's it. Well, I've that. also... Because I finished Killzone 3 and then started Shadow to the Damned. Yeah. And then I'm going to on, on to Resistance Trilogy. Yep. Which Resistance 1 doesn't have trophies. So I can just whiz through that. Like, do this, do the story and then yeah, move on. Yeah, play how you want. Yeah. That game's weird. You know, to, to aim down the sight, you click in the right stick and you aim. And you got to shoot with, like, R1. That's so weird. I think... Like, aiming with the... It's going to be so weird. Yeah, games are weird sometimes. Kind of like Shadow of the Damned. You're aiming that with R1 and L1, right? If I remember. Yeah. No. Yeah, because R L2 
was your fucking drinking drink. So I was like, remember when game used the R1 not to aim? Like, nah. That's like Mafia. Mafia's weird because like to get in and out cars is X, not Y. To punch, it's B. To sprint, you got to click the thumbstick in. That's normal, though. Like, most games like GTA and San Andreas, like, to run, you'd press A. Oh, right, you got to you know, tap X and then you in a melee, you'd just press the trigger and you'd fight, punch, shoot, whatever, you know. But you get it out, it's yeah. always Y or triangle. Don't forget, that's Rockstar games, though. But like I said, Saints Row is like that, too. It's the same as GTA, and then there's, like, other games that are like that, and that genre are all the same. No, Saints Row, you, you literally sprint with the stick, though. You didn't have to tap A day. or X. Could you change it, could you? I can't remember. I guess. I don't remember. <laughs> I just don't remember A. I just played know. the new Saints Row, and that's all modern control, so. Yeah. Where B was melee and shit. Britain was still. Well, the, uh, so that new Saints Row has so many fucking key bindings, it's ridiculous. Yeah, like every trigger. Dis- I, mean, I feel like every trigger is like a a a, a, a special punch, ba- light punch, yeah. heavy punch, like <laughs> this. And it's like, what the fuck? There's so many things, combinations of shit. Like, fuck me. Did you Did you ever finish the game? No, not yet. Oh. I got the, all the new DLC now. I want to get that. Yeah, all the free and the paid one. Mm. That's why I waited. There's still more coming. Like you wouldn't. There's still more coming, even though the studio shut down and shit. Like, yeah. Heaps of shit I guess because they promised that they had to put it out. Yeah, that, I mean, that studio's still going, I guess. It's still making shit. No, they got it absorbed into, um... They just got merged uh, into another one. Ooh. So I'm guessing they still kept the game going, but yeah, they're just heaps. not their own individual... Yeah. Because I think Volition is no, is no more. It was meant to be gone ages ago. But well, it wasn't until this new Saints Row, like... It was gone, yeah, then they came back. It was weird. Volition. I think they got. Uh, I think they got merged with like Gearbox and that. Or was it Deep Silver? Deep, Deep Silver Company. That's crazy. Also, oh, Gear Gearbox is new. Like, um, because every time I load up Tiny Tina, it's got this kid going. Gearbox. <laughs> I was like, what in the... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah, because it was the studio developed two less successful games with 2017's Agents of Mayhem and then 2022 Saints Row Reboot. In November 2022, Volition was transferred to Gearbox Entertainment, another operative yeah, Gearbox. within the Embracer group. Yeah, well, Embracer's looking to sell some studios off after they just acquired some. <laughs> yeah. Because they uh, cost too much to keep. With what they're, yeah. It's because they don't realise how expensive game development is. Yeah, but well, some of them are. Some of them are getting too carried away. Because they got, they're the biggest group of all. They got the most developers. <laughs> they need to get rid of some. I think Sony's going to buy some. Square Enix may get some. Like Ubisoft. Not Mar- I mean, well, Microsoft might. But they Brace- just got fucking Activision and that. And Bracer was basically getting a lot of them just so they didn't die. So that they could yeah. still exist. So they're like, I oh, will take you under the wing so you can, you can still keep... And because they were cheap also. And... Like, they yeah. got them while they were cheap. And then, like I said, better than letting them just die and be like, ah, oh, fuck you. But you now know. they're like, they're making... They have, they have to produce content which costs millions of dollars. Yeah. And that's to sell some to lower it a bit. So... Yeah. That's not a bad thing. Like, at least they can sell them and people buy them or they might just com- combine them. Yeah. They work out where they need to to figure it out with the teams. I think answer is 1993. Um, is there anything else, Jim? Is there much else, or is that it? You got anything else? I've got nothing. I mean, I've just, I've just played games all week. Uh, I wish I had time to sit down and play games again. I haven't played much for it really, as much as I like. I've been, I put like, uh, I'll say like maybe ten plus hours in the Tiny Tina's Wonder Wonderland. Yeah, like, I need to play that. I, eh? I really need to get back into playing that too. It, Oh, good. I mean, I bought it day dot, like yeah, yeah, and then barely played it. That's what I. That's what I did as well. Same as, same as like Borderlands Three, basically. Yeah, but that's oof. Yeah, me was like, we should play Borderlands Two. It was like, we need all three of us on there, bro. Yeah, exactly. Because me and Mules were just on chilling. He's like, play Borderlands. I'm like, we need Daz for that. Yeah. Because he's the one who like launched it. Yeah. I know that actually. Let's want, let's want to start again. Like, <laughs> oh, it's just like fucking hell. We need a plan. We need organized days to do it. 
He's just like, we need to know when you're on mules. Like, let us know. We'll do it. Just fucking give us a day. Like, fuck. Well, your time's going to be cut short, what, next week? Yeah, be afternoons. But, I mean, that should make sense for him, afternoons. Like, fuck, we can jump on for a couple of hours right? in the afternoon. Like, fuck. I get home, put my feet up. I'm actually want to play a game. Let's play fucking Naruto or fucking Borderlands. You need like, yeah. You kind of need like a recliner out in your room there now. Yeah. So you just can... just lay lay back. Ah. Proper recliner. But that's it. Like. I'm I mean, you you did have the couch there, right? Was it the couch or the bed? Like you had something have, there. I did have a bed at one point, but that's that was that. Long that would have been handy, wouldn't it? <laughs> a long time ago, and I good good I got rid of it because there's no room for it in here. Like it's all shelves, all shelves. Right. But, uh, I think. No, I... you're figuring. You think you're figuring beanbag just. Yeah, just chuck it on the floor. No, but then again, like, where am I going to fucking put it? Like, even if I was to store it when I'm not using it, like, it's a trap. Beanbags are a trap. Beanbags are easy. Just put them on something. Put them on something. I I mean, my my space it would have to be like moved and just put it in the corner, out the yeah, way. I guess. That's what I mean. Like, it's it's the effort to make room. Oh, I, mean, I got the chair. I could just recline the chair. Just fucking. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that for a second. It's like, oh, boom, snap. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I was going to fall back. Let's see how far I fucking lean. Oh, shit. Is that spot? But yeah. No, I'm fucking. Yeah. I, I can't even lean on this. I can't even lean. There's no, nothing. I am lean. done. I need to run to the toilet, honestly. Um, well, in that case, weird. before I remember some things, I just start rambling again. Yeah, be enjoyed. This episode, oh, episode 32. Yes. Episode 171. Yes. If I remember correctly. 171. We're nearly at 200, bro. What should we call it? 200 episode? weeks. What should we Beanbag. Call it? Um. Beanbag? <laughs> Beanbag. Beanbag. Um, Beanbag. Love Noah. Beanbag question mark, exclamation mark. Can do. Um. <laughs> Beanbag question mark? As always, we appreciate you watching, listening, whichever it is. We definitely appreciate you. And we'll be back next week. We have been Dale and Jim. And we'll catch you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Fuck. I need shit so bad. <laughs> It's not trying to get that quickly. I'm like, you gotta go shit. You gotta go.